Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome to Eons of Battle. Something that's been on my mind lately, demons. Demons are fiends who are made up of the powers of the underworld. They have immense power, but unfortunately, all demons suck, so it's impossible to predict or trust them. So what's a person to do if you want a little bit of that power, but don't want to put your faith in the worst possible thing to put your faith in? Well, you capture a demon, of course. Now, it's no easy task to capture a demon. You have to sacrifice up a mortal soul in the hope that whatever defenses you come up with can hold the demon, because if not, well, your sacrifice, yourself, and everybody around you is doomed. But if everything goes according to plan, you will have yourself an impossibly powerful source of magic and destruction. But it's not all smooth sailing, as you'll have to continuously grant the demon more and more favors to keep them doing your bidding. And speaking of bound demons, look what I have here. Looks incredible, right? What is that? Where can I get one? Well, let me tell you. We are producing original miniatures monthly, available as STLs and physical 3D prints. This is our August release, The Bound Demon, available on our Patreon and sculpted by Licorice, the same artist who did our animated intro. It's our fourth mini of our Miniature of the Month Club. Our previous releases are available to purchase from us as physical prints or as STLs from comics, games, and things. And if you have any ideas for miniatures you would like to see us produce, please leave your ideas in the comments below. But now I want to paint this demon with a red flesh gradient, cold metal chains, and crackling magical eyes. I started off with a black prime. I always do a black prime. It lets me not worry about the darkest, hardest to reach shadows. They're already black and finished. Then a Zenithal Prime. This gives me my highlights. And on the demon, I made sure that his head was the brightest feature and everything else was a gray gradient, letting the wispiest parts of his magical aura remain black. Then I began adding some color. I want his skin a nice crimson red, but I don't want it to look flat. So I thin the red way down and glaze it over his skin. This way, the white and gray underneath will show through. On the parts of his skin I want in shadow, I let those areas be solid red. To add to the skin, I glaze some beige red over his face, shoulders, and ribs. This will cover the remaining white of my Zenithal poking through. Now that his skin has a nice gradient, I put a red wash over it to blend the two colors together and make my darker red spots darker. After this wash dried, I went back in with beige and highlighted the most prominent features of his face, ribs, and shoulder blades. Then on the chains, I glazed some really watery blue onto them. This will make them stand out really strong against the red skin of the demon. Now onto the belt, pinning his arms to his sides. I could have used a brown, but they wouldn't have stood out very strong against the red skin. I washed these belts with a brown wash to shade them. Then it was onto the crackling magical eyes. I base coated the eyes with white. Then I carefully dragged the brush away from the eye and painted wiggly, scraggly lines coming away from the eyes. It helps to have the paint a little bit watery so that the paint flows and stays behind exactly where the brush moves. Then I glazed a few very thin coats of blue over the eyes, brows, and cheeks. This is the object source lighting. The source is his eyes. Now the blue was covering a lot of the original white, so I went over these areas again, leaving behind a little less paint than before. Now let's talk about the ball gag. I put a little black wash over the apparatus. Then I base coated the metal links with gray and a highlight of light gray. Then on the ball, I did a large dot of dark gray, a small dot of gray, and then just the tiniest little dot of light gray. After that, I took a black wash and put this over all the areas I wanted a little bit darker, the chains, his armpits, and the flowing demonic robes. On the base, I want a simple, desolate ground. You don't want to take your demons to nice places. So I dry brushed the ground with some white paint, then just a black wash. With the base finished, the demon is done. Boom, that is a captive demon. You can see him trying to float up and away on his otherworldly powers, but the chains are keeping him in place. Although he's stuck now, the demon is immortal. He will last forever. The equipment keeping him trapped will not. Although it's tempting to mess with demons, it's a no-win scenario in the end, as you can't keep a demon trapped forever. And these fiends are not the forgiving type. And whatever magic you got it to perform for you, it's nothing compared to the magic it's going to use on you. Thanks for watching.